Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and uh, Google just announced that they were going to allow Android Wear devices to work with iPhones. And they announced today, which is Monday, that they were going to allow that to work with the LG Watch or Bane. And quickly, people have began trying to pair their other devices. So we happen to have a Sony SmartWatch 3 in the office, and we thought, let's try and see if we can get it to pair. Now the process works exactly the same. The only thing you have to make sure is that your watch is up to date with at least Android Wear 1.3. Um, our watch as of this morning was on 1.1. So with a quick software update, we were able to get this to work. So let's walk through the process. Um, here we've got the Sony SmartWatch 3. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go through the pairing process. All right, so we have the app installed here, the Android Wear app, which you can get in the App Store, and then we've got the watch basically factory reset. You're gonna have to factory reset your watch if you're gonna wanna pair it. So let's go ahead and open the application on the iPhone. It says, do you have a watch? Let's get started. So we'll go ahead and go through this process. Now it says pair with watch. So we're gonna swipe here, choose United States, and of course it says connect your watch to a power source. Not all watches are gonna do that, but this watch is doing that. So let's connect it to a power source real quick. All right, so now that we're connected to a power source, the phone says you're ready, swipe to continue. So we'll go ahead and swipe. You can see the SmartWatch 3 is showing up on our iPhone. We'll go ahead and tap that. Now the iPhone is asking for the passcode. We'll go ahead and type in that passcode and hit pair. And within a matter of seconds, it should pair to the, to the watch and then it will be connected. Now, the, the features that are available have been kind of in question, like what works with this pairing process um, running this Android watch on an iPhone. Now, um, it works very much in a similar way to what you can and can't do with a Pebble or what you can and can't do with Google Glass, um, two devices that aren't iOS native but are allowed to run. So now it's uh, updating with some information here, um, allowing, you know, kind of giving us some little tutorial here, information across the watch face while it finishes updating. What we were able to do is answer and decline calls from the watch. We were able to see text messages that came through. We were able to see any information that came through. Let's go ahead and skip this little video um, and hit continue. We were able to let me just enable notifications, enable location, hit allow, enable calendar, and there we go. Notice here that it even says it's connected to the SmartWatch 3. So Google or Android or whoever you want to call them already had all of that um, programmed in, even though they said that support for older watches will come later. Um, part of me feels that they mentioned the LG Watch Urbane as the one that works only right now just so that they could sell some more LG Watch Urbane. So um, let's go ahead and swipe up to get started. It's gonna walk us through all of the kind of default to learn how to use your Android watch. Um, and uh, so we'll go through all of that, just kind of get through these really quick. Um, and so it's starting to show us some notifications. All right, so what's really cool about this is that the notifications work. So let's go ahead and grab another phone. So I've got another phone right here. I'm going to go ahead and call this device, the iPhone. So we'll go ahead and call and so you can see what's showing up on the screen here. We're seeing me calling and it gives me the options to decline or answer the call. So we'll go ahead and decline that call. Pretty cool. Now I'll go ahead and send a text message from, and I'm sending it from an Android device but we'll go ahead and send a text message. So hit send, there we go. And we get a text message here on the phone and we should see something on the watch, I would assume here, relatively soon. We haven't seen anything yet, but maybe it's a little bit of a delay sometimes. Oh, there it is. Um, so what's really cool is that, and there's the missed call notification. What's really cool is that any notification that you get on your iPhone is gonna show up on your watch. 
Uh, you're not necessarily going to be able to interact with that notification other than swiping away to decline that notification, which actually does dismiss it on your phone as well, but you're still going to be able to get the notification. So to basically kind of dumb it down, your, your watch, your Android Wear watch isn't going to be as useful as it would be if it was connected to an Android device. It's not going to be as useful as a, an Apple Watch would be, but nonetheless, it's useful. You're still, it's a glorified notification device, basically, and you have limited interaction between them. Things may change. There may become more support that Google is able to get out of, um, out of Android Wear on an iPhone. I'm not too sure what that will become of because when I had, I've had Google Glass for almost two years, and with Google Glass, there have been things that have worked and things that haven't worked. Uh, for example, if I wanted to go and, um, and use Maps, so let's open up Maps, and we can do, um, we'll just do Apple Maps, and we'll see if some sort of a address notification or whatever shows up here. So uh, let's just use a recent search item. We'll go ahead and start navigation to this uh, round table here. And I don't think that this is going to work as far as showing the notification on the phone. I mean on the watch. In pairing Android, uh, in, in pairing Google Glass to an iPhone, um, navigation never worked. And I would assume that it's probably not going to work uh, on the watch as well. So we'll just go ahead and give this a try and see what we can make happen. Yeah, there's no notifications even to choose from. And the maps, there isn't even a maps app application option. We've got agenda, alarm, fit, flashlight, uh, Google Now, stopwatch, timer. Um, so this isn't even, isn't even showing up as an option. But that's, you know, the fact that you can even use your Android Wear watch with an iPhone is a pretty cool thing. For those of you that ended up with an Android Wear watch um, and haven't been able to use it with your iPhone, now you can. The Sony SmartWatch 3 is a relatively decent device. It doesn't have many sensors. Um, I actually have a review video of this device up uh, on the State of Tech channel if you want to go and check it out. Um, but it is a, a good watch. I like the size of the face. I like everything about this watch. So it's pretty exciting that we were able to get it work to work with the iPhone and that probably the majority of these watches that are able to hit version 1.3 are going to be able to pair with your iPhone. So thanks for checking out this video. We just wanted to kind of walk through the process and show you that it works with more than the LG watch or Bane right now. Um, and we also did hear that the Moto 360, it works with that watch as well. Probably more watches. Uh, I wish I still had my LG uh, G Watch R to test as well, but I don't. Um, so if you've tested one and it works, let us know in the comments below and we'll tweet it out.